Welcome to SmackDown Live, where the United States Champion is about to address the WWE Universe. And luckily, it looks like Buzz was able to get his title back after last week's shenanigans. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say shenanigans? Yeah, oh, what's wrong with that? My time as United States Champion hasn't quite gone as I planned, to say the least. I wanted to defend the title and give you hard-fought, competitive, and fair matches every week, but that's been impossible lately, thanks to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. That's why I'm out here to say... I'm tired of the constant interference and everyone thinking they deserve a U.S. title shot. So I'm proposing that Kevin Owens and Bobby Roode settle it in the ring to see who the real number one contender is. Oh, and one more thing. I'll be at ringside to make sure Sami Zayn doesn't affect the outcome of this match in any way, shape, or form. The United States Champion has weighed in on how he thinks this tumultuous situation should be settled. Let's see if Daniel Bryan agrees with him. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. In recent weeks, through no fault of your own, the United States title has been dragged through the mud by your opponent. So I'm backing your decision and making it official. Triple H on SmackDown? What's he doing here? I don't know. I just have a feeling he didn't stop by just to say hi. I know you're still relatively new to WWE, Buzz, so let me fill you in on something. You may have gotten lucky by winning the U.S. title, but that doesn't mean you get to call the shots around here. I call the shots. Um, Hunter, can we talk about that for a second? Because last time I checked, your brother-in-law Shane and I are in charge of SmackDown. Not you. So actually, we call the shots. Ooh, this is getting good. Shut up and listen to what I'm about to say because it is a lesson that you and everyone else needs to learn. I have influence far greater than anything you could imagine. Whatever I say goes. No questions asked. I say build it and it's how fast do you need it. I say make the match and the only questions are when and where. I say fire someone and WWE wishes them luck in their future endeavors. All anyone else has is the illusion of power. You call the shots because I let you call the shots. Now if you have a problem with any of that, I can make one call and you'll be struggling to put food on your family's table. You need us. We don't need you. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Good. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the US title picture. I have a better idea for how to settle all of this. At Money in the Bank, you won't even need to be pinned to lose your U.S. title. Because it's going to be a fatal four-way match. Of you versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. Breaking news. I told you. That Money in the Bank. I'd never forget what you did. We're going to have a new champion.
This is it, folks. Fatal four-way action. All the cops, Cole, because I have a feeling this fatal four-way is going to steal the show. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Oh, no! Incoming! He got him good there. Clearly on a mission here. Oh, right on the crown of the skull. Sami Zayn with the offense. And look, it hung up on the... It's just a matter of time now. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. A crucial point in the match here, guys. He's got a target on his back now, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a three-on-one attack. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Oh, Bulldog! One-handed. What's this? We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. He's just playing classic offense here. Ow! That hurt! Whoa! Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. DDT! To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. Well, with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. A punishing strike. And he's heading back in. Them. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. The challenger not oh, looking good right now. This is not at all how the challenger drew this one up. He jumps so high off the ground, he can invent moves in midair. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. What a display of athleticism. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's gonna do it! Oh my, that'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Oh boy, he is rolling. Hits him with the fist now. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Kevin Owens looking absolutely overwhelmed. At this point, I don't think I like his chances of winning this four-way match. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. Neck breaker! Oh, I think this man needs business. He's making a statement here with this attack. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Now, that's how you succeed. into the cover! Oh. There's the pinfall. And the victory. That was a match for the ages. Fatal four ways always deliver the goods, but you can only see matches like that once in a decade or so.
Buzz did it, much to Triple H's disappointment. He somehow beat the odds to win the fatal four-way match. I told you he had a chance to win. Are you shocked, Corey? Yes, I'm shocked that for once, you were right. <laughs> Hey, that Money in the Bank ladder match was awesome. Congrats on walking out with the briefcase. Thanks. To be honest, it's gonna be kind of annoying carrying this around with me. And seeing as you're the rookie, how about you carry it around for me? <laughs> no thanks. I already got my hands full. Huh. I'll remember that. The United States Champion is here on SmackDown Live, fresh off his successful title defense at Money in the Bank. I was talking to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and I've decided that they're both going to get another shot at your US title. I said they're both going to get a shot at your US title in a two-on-one handicap match. If you thought the odds were against you in a fatal four-way, just wait until tonight. If I wanted your U.S. title, I wouldn't need to ask anyone for permission. I'd just take it. Stay out of my way unless you want an RKO. After we beat you tonight, we're going to be co-U.S. champions. He makes a good point. It is only fair. He is just trying to drive us apart before the match. And besides, we had a deal all worked out in writing. I faxed it to you, remember? I don't have a fax machine. It's 2018. I'm pretty sure you do. It made the fax noise. Sammy, Sammy, stop. Sammy, I get it. Stop. I get it. You know, so do we have a deal then? Co-champions? Yes, as long as you never make that noise again. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Randy Orton has over 15 years of experience in WWE, and he has to slow down a step. Yeah, if anything, the Vipers become even more proficient with that devastating RKO. like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of the match. Oh boy, he is rolling. I'll be shocked if that's not it. Randy Orton getting put to the test. Left to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Oh. 
Nice job by Randy Orton there. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their fate. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Randy Orton got the worst end of that stick. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. This kind of offense he's known for. Nicely done. So painful. When this guy's on, look out. Nicely executed. Oh. This jumping knee oh. strike on point. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. or anything else get in the way. He wants no part of the outside. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. His shoulders are down. Look at this. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Man, Kevin Owens, what offense. Of display by Sami Zayn. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunity. He's got the shoulders down. And the champ kicks out. It's gonna take more than that. What a jumping knee strike on point. Incredible. Incredible. This has to be it. Oh, a headlock takeover. Sami Zayn with a nice kick. The champ starting to sweat. He has an amazing opportunity here to cement his legacy as one of the... Oh, that was a hard shot. What a strike. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. Jeez, I don't like Sami Zayn's chances in this one. Take it off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going long and unnecessary. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. That packed a punch. He's too quick for him there. Lightning fast reflexes. 
Oh, he dodges out of the way. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Nobody ever accused Sami Zayn of holding back. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. Scoop slam! What's Kevin Owens putting together here? Oh, God! Man, right on the back of the neck. But he's got to capitalize now. Buzz with the easy kick out. That's too early for that. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Your friend. What is he hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their fate. I'm not sure how much he has left. What is but clearly on a mission here? Can he finish the job? Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. You gotta believe this one's over. The challenger not in a great place. At this point, you have to ask how much more he has to give here in this handicap match. It's going to be hard for him to win this handicap match if he doesn't somehow find a way to fend off some of this punishment he's taken. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No one has, bu has Buzz pulled off the impossible. Oh, no, he hasn't. I told you, these two would be on the same page. What the? RKO out of nowhere! Where did Orton even come from? Shoulders are down! We got a new champ! Oh my gosh! It took a couple of tries, but with the help of an old friend, Triple H finally got what he wanted. You guys are burying the lead here. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are your new United States champion. Buzz never had a chance. With Orton interfering, it was essentially three on one. Four on one if you include Triple H.